Hey guys, welcome to vlog number 19. This week I thought I would do a little diet session with you guys. I just want a little kick to get me on like a little health bandwagon, restart my healthy diet and lose a bit of weight. I remember I'd done the keto diet around about maybe a couple of years ago and I loved it. The results were amazing. You do lose a lot of weight but there is a lot of commitment involved. I thought it would be interesting for the next 10 days for me to do the keto diet and take you guys along the journey with me. For those that are interested in dieting with me, you can start along with the journey with me also. Let me just explain what it is. It stands for the ketogenic diet there's two ways for your body to create energy which is either through carbohydrate which is sugar or the other energy source that your body can use is fat and that's basically what we're trying to encourage our body to do to use fat instead of using carbohydrate we'll do like a little weigh in and then in 10 days time we'll see what the difference is and i'm not going to do like any sort of exercise or anything the only exercise i think i'm going to be doing over the next 10 days is just like taking regular walks i'm going to go food shopping tomorrow first thing in the morning and i'll show you guys what i bought i need to get ketone strips which tests if we are in ketosis or not we're going to start the diet from tomorrow which is going to be a tough one i'm going to have a good night rest now today's the day that we officially start our diet we're going to do a little weigh in i'll show you guys the scale regarding to how much i weigh and everything at the end of this journey we're also going to weigh ourselves to see if we see a difference now i've got this really high tech scale which basically analyzes all your fat and your muscle mass and your bmi and all that sort of jazz stuff and I'm also going to do my measurements as well and I've got an app to store all this information so that I have a record of everything I also took a fat dump before I'm doing the weight here girl is naked so I'm gonna try and do it just showing you my upper half I don't want to add extra pounds on me by having all the clothing on me you know let's go on I also got my app on so once you turn on the scale and you have your app on it automatically connects the two Okay, we've got the tape measurement out and we're going to measure our body prior to keto. There's an app that I use called My Body, which is this app here. It allows you to measure all your measurements. So you measure arm, bust, waist, your under bust, your thighs, your hips, and then also weigh how much you weigh as well. Girl has been snacking and eating her life away. I just feel that this keto thing will be a health kickstart to my new regimen. I feel that it's only gonna be a short-term thing where I can sustain it. I think it's keto long-term wise. It's so restrictive that I don't know whether it is the diet for me. So I just want a little kickstart and do a little challenge for you guys so that I can get myself back into the swing of things again. I made a list of all the stuff that I wanted to buy for my first grocery shopping briefly show you what i purchased for the vegetable side of things i got lettuce i love me some zucchini i can make some minced meat with these uh beans we got some spinach broccoli i don't know how to say it but i love this so i got myself some blackberries and some blueberries we also got ourselves an avocado technically i need more avocados than this some tomatoes mushrooms peppers cucumber so we got ourselves a lot of salad and these are really low in carb you need to avoid like rooted vegetables like potatoes anything that's too carby like sweet potato rice pasta not good for the keto diet i wanted some jalapenos i love me a bit of spice so the yolk has a lot of fat which is really good for the keto to get my fat intake to increase it up and i think i thought okay let me get myself some bacon i know this is not a very healthy keto i got some minced chicken um chicken thighs with the fat on there i didn't want the skin for some reason i should have got the version with skin but they come with the bone and i was like no i don't want any of that i got myself some frankfurters oh so this is just gonna start me off cooking for the next couple of days if you guys love noodles you can try these these noodles it is zero carbs and it's made by a vegetable called cognac or something like that this vegetable here and i bought two packs so one is slightly a bit more chunkier and this one is less chunky one of the key stuff that i ordered from amazon is these ketone strips to test if we are in ketosis or not this is basically measuring to see if you've switched fuel source and if you are now producing ketones and your body is now in ketosis it's like a urine test so you just pee on it and then it tells you if you got ketones or not. It's just at least now we are prepared so we won't get off the bandwagon. The first lunch that I'm going to have, I should really have a really fatty lunch. However, you can have seafood on this diet. My brother over the weekend, he went to the beach and he caught me 
some sea snails, that are some periwinkles and mussels and everything. Well, that was such a struggle. I just came back from an hour walk and I feel so tired and my hands and my body literally feel like it's shaking. First day on keto. I'm gonna try and make dinner. I don't know what to make. I feel like I'm just gonna have some avocado and some bacon and call it a day. This is what I'm having for dinner. I just decided to do a stir fry with bacon and broccoli. Watching a YouTube channel on how to meal prep and everything. Just getting food ideas and everything for the next 10 days. So today's day three and I thought I'd weigh myself. Oh my God, guys, I went down to 76.6. This is exciting and very encouraging to see that I've lost. How exciting. So yeah, progression. We're gonna continue on. So yesterday I made a Thai green curry and I had it with my slim rice, which is keto friendly. It's only around about 35 calories per packet, which is fucking awesome considering how much calories you would normally obtain if you eat like normal wheat or rice. I've been using this app called Carb Manager, which is this app here. So it basically allows you to monitor your macros. You know what macros mean? It's basically monitoring what you're eating, so whether it's your protein, fat, or carbohydrates. Every single time I eat something, I've been putting it all in here. What I'm aiming for with the keto diet is 70% fat, 20% protein, and 10% carbs so that's my macro distribution the thing that i like about this app is it's free before you decide to eat the food you can put it in here you can pre-plan and see what is the net carb what is the protein and fat ratio it lets you see if you're meeting your goals or not i decided that i want to get lemon and start drinking lemon every single day or sips lemon water throughout the day so that it detoxes my body so we need to go and get some lemon in the shop i want to make some frozen lemon ice cubes i am literally just juicing all the lemons and then we're gonna put in this cup and freeze the thing today is day three of my diet and i'm not gonna lie this evening i am struggling i feel like i have such a strong craving oh just like sweet and sugary i'm like going down to the fridge like five times run up and down i need to stop it's a, such a struggle so i've just made myself a coffee i put a bit of sweetener in there but it's a sugar-free sweetener so hopefully that will ease my sugar craving that I'm having at the moment. So hard. But we've got to keep on doing it. It's day four of my keto diet. I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. I feel like crap today. I had such a busy at work. Well, thank God it's Friday. We are making dinner and I'm so lazy. All I want to do is sleep. And I seriously do feel that I've got the keto flu at the moment because I feel like really shaky. I've got a headache coming on. And I just feel really sluggish and the last thing I want to do on a Friday is do anything basically. So it's also my sister's birthday as well so she's celebrating with her boyfriend and her friends and I'm just sitting here lonely Mandaski on a Friday night. But we have put on the pan, I decided I'm just going to make frankfurters for dinner. We're just going to have around about four of this for dinner with a bit of sauce and call it a day. Today, what did I have? I had run about four pepperonis, that was my lunch. I should have more vegetables if I'm honest with you, but it was just a busy day and I'm like, I'm not in the mood to cook. But hey, we're still on this keto kick. It's day four and still going strong, guys. I should put a whole pack of spinach in there and look how tiny it's become. We are putting that to the side. A bit healthy. I'm gonna cook a bit of extra frankfurters because I want to give the dog some because I've got two left here that are spare. You guys are in for a treat this morning. I know this looks like breakfast, but this is what I'm having for dinner. Four frankfurters, two fried eggs. Good morning, guys. Excuse the dirty face. I tanned my face yesterday and haven't cleansed it properly. But sip my coffee. Sugar free. Doesn't taste as good. But there's this sugar that I normally take. It's called erythmotol. I think that's what it's called. And you put it in with your coffee and it tastes just as good as sugar. But the struggle is real this morning. So, I received a little package from this company called Back and Forth, and they're celebrating their one year anniversary. And look, they sent me so much chocolate. Oh, the temptation is real. I've got rid of all the sweets and chocolate inside my house. So, this being sent to me today, not a good thing. <laughs> I want to say thank you to them. They are a jewelry company, so I've just tried on their jewelry. So freaking cute. I'll add their details down below if you're interested in getting jewellery from them. I've got some frankfurters here. And then I'm going to have them with some spinach. And that is our breakfast done for this morning. 
And today, for the very first time since I started my keto diet, I'm gonna go for a jog. I have arrived at my sister's house and I literally wanna cry. It's my sister's birthday yesterday. And look at all the temptations that's around here. She's got a cake here. Krispy Kreme. Say hello to the birthday girl. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Ooh, twerk it girl, work it girl. She is 29 yesterday. My last year of my 20s. And I can't believe my sister can't even celebrate me. Like she's on this keto diet. I'm like, uh, but the one thing we do is go out to eat. So what are you gonna do with me now? You're okay. useless to me. Okay, this cake looks delicious. And today they're making roast. And you know the best part of roast is the potatoes, girl. Look, I've got three cans of potatoes cooking. Does. Don't mind my potatoes growing three extra legs. <laughs> we need to use everything up in this house, girl. No wastage. Today is day six. Guys, I've done another weigh in and I lost another kg. So a total of five pounds, guys. Oh, your girl was like feeling extra motivated. And I'm like, trying a bikini today. Oh, my sister's got a hot tub. and. Your girl is looking and feeling kind of fleek, you know? I'm like envisioning that bikini body. I'm feeling so, so hungry and coming to my sister's house. She's got so much snacks, cereals, everything. I said to myself, <gasps> for this Sunday, for a little treat for me, I'm gonna go and have a breakfast in a cafe. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm ditching these two bitches She's here. You're leaving me to go and pay for food somewhere else when everything's free over here. Everything that is free is carp, which I can't eat. Gonna have a fry up for breakfast. I don't know if I can have beans, but I can have all the other bit here. So exciting. How sad is this? I'm eating cat food while everyone. We have a full roast for dinner over here. Like three different types of potatoes. Potatoes are the best bit of the meal. You're not even having any. I've got two baby wings. All about portion control. That slim waist ain't gonna come for free. Hot tub today. Woo! And we put the dogs in. Look, Chanel can attempt to swim. Let her go of her. Let's see if she can do it. You're such a clever girl! I'm so proud of you! Romeo, on the other hand, he's so scared of me. He's like, what am I holding on to me for dear life? Three dogs! Only Chanel is achieving gold right now. Today is day seven, and I went on a fasted run this morning. But I felt like I had so much energy. It's unbelievable. One thing I forgot to mention was on around about day four, I went to the toilet. And I know this is really TMI, but literally when I was having a crap, there was no hard piece of lump of doink down the toilet. It was literally, I felt like I was pissing from my arsehole. That sounds TMI. But that's literally the case. It happened twice on the fourth day. And I thought, okay, let me make a note of that because I didn't mention any of that in my little snippet of what is happening. So I wanted a little bit of a snack. So I'm going to show you what I have a snack, which is a little treat to myself. I really wanted something that was like a yogurt, something healthy and something sweet. It's 5% fat and it's got low carbohydrate. It is natural Greek yogurt that is strained. I wanted to treat myself with some chocolate, but you can only have dark chocolate and it has to be very low in sugar. It's broken up in little pieces and I wanted it a little bit sweeter because the dark chocolate is quite bitter but it gives you a bit of that cocoa kick. So there's this sugar that I have. It tastes like sugar, but it's not actually sugar. And it's not bad like aspartame, splendor, and everything. It's called erythmatol. While we're on the topic of snacks, I also have this other snack as my treat of the day, which is olives. I know a lot of people don't like olives, but why? And it feel, makes me feel really healthy, but I think there is a lot of calorie in this. However, this is very low in carbs and it has a lot of fat in it. So it's very good for keto. If I don't control myself, I can have one of this a day. These ones with like the red bits in it. I don't know what is in there. It's like a little jello. It tastes so awesome. Anyone knows what it's called? Well, I can just buy this one in particular. Let me know. How excited. I took a little test to check my ketone levels to see if I'm in ketosis or not. And I think I'm on the moderate range. So between small and moderate. So we are in ketosis. This is the first time I checked after seven days. But it's good to know 
that we're heading somewhere. Guys, what a stressful morning. I had to go into work today and today's the first day I'm returning back to the office. But I totally forgot I don't have a work permit, so like a driving permit to park my car at work and to commute to work. Like if I was to take public transport for like over two hours. So I normally drive into work, but because we've been off work for so long, I totally forgot about my permit. So I'm running like a headless chicken. I thought I was so organized. I got up so early and then my sister came to the rescue. <laughs> She's in her PJ. She don't want to be on camera. So my sister's dropping me off at the station and hopefully it's two, no, well, a change journey, but it's like three stops away. So, oh, I'm running so late. I have to be there in uh, 10 minutes and it will take me more than 10 minutes um, from the station to walk to my workplace. And this is what I'm having for lunch. I know it looks massive. <laughs> But I'm doing vegetable half side and then we're having pure protein on here. I know it looks like a big portion, but I go as hungry. Guys, we officially reach our 10 day of keto. So I thought I'd wrap it up and then discuss with you guys what I've noticed over the last 10 days. Just to give you my thoughts so far and what I'm going to do in the future. I've been on this diet for around about 10 days now and I feel that the results have been amazing. I haven't lost as much weight as I would want to have lost. Because I remember last time when I was on this diet, I lost around about like maybe five kilogram within one week. This time for 10 days, I lost three kilograms, which works out to be around about over six pounds. I'm still happy with the results and ecstatic. I see and I feel a big change in myself. Considering that this diet is quite restrictive, I felt really energized and I feel like my skin has really glowed up. I don't know whether that's because I'm making a conscious decision to drink more or I'm attempting to exercise more. I don't know what it is, but I just feel like my skin is glowing and I feel a lot more healthier and I just feel much more energetic in comparison to me 10 days ago where I feel really sluggish, I didn't want to get out of bed. I just feel really energized and I literally just get up and go before this is just lethargic way my body my mind so for the last five days I've been jogging I haven't done any extensive run but I feel like I'm full of energy and I normally go on these runs on a fasted state so that means I haven't eaten anything I'm going the first thing in the morning and I feel like I have so much energy and I'm like just pumped and ready to go which is amazing you would have thought that you know because you're not eating a lot of carbs and you're not eating a lot of sugar you feel a lot more tired but literally I don't feel hungry all day whatsoever I can see what people are saying regarding to this diet that if you slowly go on it slowly you won't feel hungry but let me just explain a bit of background regarding to this diet now, your body runs on two types of energy sources either it runs on sugar or it runs on fat for the body to create sugar or energy within your body you have to eat carbs and it gets converted into sugar so that's our first choice of energy source but if you are starving your body of sugar and carbohydrates it has to use the other source of energy which is fat now, normally when you overload with sugar your body creates insulin and insulin is basically a fat storing hormone. It tells your body that, oh, I've got too much energy, I've got too much carbs, store it in as fat and stuff it all inside your body. So if you're always overeating, your body will never use the fat as a source of energy. But if you are not eating carbs, then your body is forced to run on fat as its main source of energy. You will find that you have so much energy because it's got all this fat within inside its body to use as energy. For the first six days, I was struggling a bit and I did feel that my mind was getting foggy from day four to day six, where I feel like I couldn't get my speech out properly. I couldn't concentrate. My mind was wanting to say something else, but whatever's coming out of my mouth is completely different. I just felt like a bit hazy and not all there. I think the reason why I felt that way is because of the keto flu. So a lot of people say that when you're on this diet, you will experience a keto flu in around about five to day seven. And all you have to do when you experience the keto flu is ensure that you drink water with a bit of salt. You should use the Himalayan pink salt instead of like your table salt. And it basically just re revives your electrolytes, which is what you're losing. Because when your body switches to running on fat instead of sugar, your body automatically releases all the water. So you're finding that you're losing a lot of minerals. Therefore, you need to consistently replenish. I would really recommend that you use an app to track in your macros. I was going to stop at 10 days, but I'm like, oh no, if you're feeling this good girl, you can continue on. But I've 
decided is I'm going to stick to this diet for three months. So I'm going to finish this diet in September. I imagine that if I'm going into office and everything, I will struggle. But because I'm working from home, I pre-planned everything. I'm going food shopping on the regular, ensuring that I'm stocked up with items that are low carb. One of my concerns I have actually, guys, is tomorrow I'm actually going for dinner and I'm celebrating a friend's birthday and I'm actually dining out for the first time being on this diet. So I can imagine the struggle that I will face. So what I've done beforehand to prepare myself, I looked online, look at their menu and I think, and surprisingly enough, there is a lot of dishes that are keto friendly. You can actually have a drink or two on this diet, but just make sure it's a very low calorie diet. So I'm gonna have like gin and tonic or like vodka, things that are not sugary. I love sweet stuff. But obviously on this diet, you can't have sugar. So like my coffee and everything that I have, I cannot have sugar. So I bought a replacement. It's called Arifmotol. I think I bought it for around about £10, which is really expensive for sugar. Because considering you can go to Tesco's and get like a whole bag full for like £3, this is £10 and it's, it's a tiny portion. But it tastes exactly like sugar. There are so many other sweeteners, but it's not actually good for you. A uh, reef motel doesn't have all the other side effects. The other recommended sweeteners that you can have is stevia. I've tried that and I don't like it. It's got like a bitter taste after. So I'm not a fan of that. And then also monk fruit. I haven't tried that before, but a lot of people tried that and they said it tastes pretty decent. Can't really have fruit on this diet. So no apples, no pineapples, no fruit. The only type of fruits that you can have is actually berries. After I have my berries, all the craving for sweetness is gone. The only carbs that you can have on this diet is basically vegetables. So you can have like kale, you know, all the really green and really nutritious vegetables. Any vegetable that's below ground, avoid. So I've just been eating like bacon, frankfurter sausages, and I know that it's high fat, but it's not good for you. So I'm going to try and see if I can switch my protein source to a more healthy protein source and be more proactive in cooking. So I've been trying to do like a reorganization of my whole recipes. And then I've been having coffee every single day. So let me just give you a little snapshot of how much weight I lost. And I'm going to do a weigh in. Just to show you guys, I am now 75 kg and I was previously 78 kg. So I'm back with a full beat. I thought I would end this vlog looking can I fly. I hope you guys enjoyed the diet journey with me. It's only been 10 days, but a 10 productive day. I am so proud of myself that I did this. Today I was like saying to myself, I want to do a journal regarding to gratitude. I was on the phone to my sister and I was just saying to my sister today, I feel so proud of myself because I'm actually doing something and I am making a change. I always moan about my weight and all these other concerns that I have and I don't do anything about it. And by starting this keto diet, I feel like I'm doing something. So I just feel so rewarded and feel so like good inside. And this feeling is indescribable. I would advise just start small and be consistent. And if you slip up, just start again. There's no rules in life. You only fail when you stop trying so i would advise that i slipped up on day eight and i was eating more carbs than i should have without me knowing i was kicked out of ketosis but hey that is what happens and it's not a big deal i just want to say that yeah i feel so happy and i feel so proud of myself for accomplishing this now if you guys have any tips and tricks regarding to the keto diets or any like information regarding to this keto diet that i'm not aware of put that information down below and if there's any other diets that you recommend that i should try that's effective then let me know i know that this is not going to be something long term i feel that i'm only going to do it until September and then pick certain elements of this diet that I'm going to continue on but I'll make sure to document my weight loss journey and then share it in around about three months time to give you guys an update I don't know if you guys are interested in that but hopefully you are because we are all about self-improvement doing little things that tomorrow us will thank us for doing today but anyway guys I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and follow me on all my other social media platform and thank you guys and I'll see you guys next week I love you Mwah.